The islands of Balabac are located off the southeastern tip of Palawan Island. And getting there will take one whole day if you go non-stop. These remote islands are located far south of the Palawan Peninsula that Sabah and Malaysia is nearer and visible to the naked eye from Balabac than Puerto Princesa. In fact, due to its close proximity to Malaysia, the locals here also speak the Malay as their second language. So guys, if you have a plan of putting up these islands in your bucket list after the pandemic, please do watch these videos as I explore once more these hidden paradise islands. But before this mga katropa, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell notification so you will get notified on each of my new posts. Coming from Manila, the Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, and Air Asia fly multiple times in a day, 7 days a week to Puerto Princesa City, the capital of Palawan. And from Puerto Princesa, you may either take a shared van to Rio Tuba or Bulliluyan Port. Travel time will be 4 to 5 hours from Puerto Princesa. From the airport, head over to the San Jose Terminal where you can take a shared van to Rio Tuba for only 450 pesos per pax. Alternately, you may contact the persons below to arrange for van transport pickup from the airport or any place around the city to Rio Tuba for 450 pesos per head as well. And oh, by the way, be aware that cutoff time for both transfer from Rio Tuba to Balabac is 10 a.m. So consider arriving an hour before. But in case you miss the boat trip to Balabac, don't worry mga katropa because there are a number of lodging houses in Rio Tuba to stay with. Alternately, you may choose another point of entry to Balabac at the Bulliluyan port. This port has closer proximity to the islands in Balabac and will significantly reduce your island hopping time. Kuya Matet Sanson offers direct transfer from Puerto Princesa to Bulliluyan Port. Tour package for Balabac Islands are pegged at around 4,000 pesos per day per person. This is already inclusive of meals but mostly not of the entrance to the privately owned Onuk Island. Meanwhile, here are some of the list of boat and package tour operators you may contact in case you decided to go through that adventure of your lifetime. And guys, there is no accommodation in the island, so travelers have to go for an overnight camping. So I strongly advise to bring your own tent or hammock, in case the tour operators don't have available at hands 